Uh, it's Toby from Billing Metals here. I'm just uh, showing a very simple method of draining a hole if you've got a bit of a slope. We have the basic siphon line here. So you see uh, there's a shaft there in that puddle. It goes down about eight or nine feet or so. Unfortunately completely filled with water. Uh, there's a bit of cut here along the reef. You can see up the hole there. Uh, there's more reef that's been cut out. It's produced quite a lot of gold over the last several years. Very patchy. And we've decided to do some more shaft sinking, so that water needs to go. Now, uh, before I stick a pump in there, we usually just simply siphon it out. We have our 19mm just standard irrigation poly in there. It's easier to fill and quicker to fill for a short run, so it uh, doesn't need to be any bigger than that for what we're doing. The siphon line runs up through here, along through here. That's not a siphon line, that's a kid yeah. playing with our siphon filling bucket. Down the hill, uh, we have enough drop on this small area of hill here to uh, drain pretty much the entire shaft out there, so about eight feet of um, drop down this hill. Now you could easily extend this and get quite a lot more uh, depth out of that shaft, which we'll probably do at one point. I just simply stick one of these little greenback valves in, turn it off, fill the pipe, set it in the bottom of the hole, turn it on, and Job's done. You can see it comes out with a fair litreage out, out of it there. And that is uh, a very simple way of draining a hole. Oop, we have another child, well, the same child in the way. And you see uh, the workings up there. That reef continues all the way underneath where I'm standing here. Not even been tested under where I'm standing at the moment, but that will happen one of these days. The hole in between there did not produce very much gold. It's about to, about to have a kid in, if you're not careful. Um, there's been three very rich patches of reef found in the diggings that uh, Oliver's climbing on at the moment. But unfortunately the stone in between runs in many cases less than a gram per tonne for quite an area and you have a really rich patch so it's barely worth mining but there's some very very nice specimens come out of it. So I've decided to near absence of gold in our last uh, experimental shaft, uh, our last test hole, we've decided to come back to this one.